Did dinosaurs exist? Does God exist? I don't know. All I know, lemon meringue pie is delicious. That's it. Stop asking me about the fucking hard questions, guys. Fuck ISIS. I'm Maddie Madison, and this is how to make a lemon meringue pie the way that you've never learned, the way that I'm going to teach you. I do love a lemon meringue pie, and I certainly love cheesecake, so I kind of added those two things together, and what I've come up with is something pretty fantastic. You know, you're very welcome. Very welcome, world. We had to start with our base. We had to start with a, a very simple pate brise, pretty much a short crust dough. That takes the longest amount of time. We gotta get that out of the way. You gotta be able to get that into the fridge, set up so the butter is nice. We had about a pound of butter to two pounds of flour, a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar. Just mix that up. We get the breadcrumbs going. You want that consistency. You get it all mixed together nice. And then you just add enough water just to bring that together. Work out the old forearms here. I'm sweating. This is hard work. Okay, so you know when it, it's good to take out of the bowl, you can mound it. Kind of clump it together, get it into that ball. That's your pate brise right here, guys. Cut this into half. And then you wrap it up, you put it in the fridge, you let that chill out for half an hour, get that butter nice and set again. Now let's talk about our fillings, right guys? Keep up, keep up. So first we have to make the cream cheese filling. So we need 35% cream that's in here. Do you see it? I believe it. You don't have to add any sugar to that. We're just gonna whip it really quickly. Uh, 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 uh. Don't stick your finger in there. Don't get your hair stuck in there. If I did this by hand, I would probably sweat more than when I just made that fucking pate brise, which nearly killed me, okay? So we're looking for stiff peaks. Stiff peaks is you just want the whipped cream to stand straight up, which is pretty much this. We don't have a lot of whipped cream in here, so it's not really doing it on the thing. Ah, stiff peaks, okay? Stiff. I'm just gonna keep using this because I'm gonna add the, the cream cheese. I did the whipped cream first because you gotta, you gotta whip cream from a clean bowl, a clean, dry, cold bowl, right? If I would have started with the cream cheese and the mascarpone, I couldn't have done that. So I can just like throw the mascarpone and everything into the whipped cream bowl because it's just gonna, it's fine. I am gonna add a 500 milliliter container full of cream cheese. And then I'm gonna add half of the, the mascarpone. Uh, what? We're gonna add a quarter cup of sugar. <laughs> ah, see, every time. Toronto rental prices are high, so you gotta stay in the low income areas like Parkdale. Your kitchens are close. Flapping around. <laughs> and we're here. Nice little peaks. Uh, this is my all time favorite pie because you know, I hate, I hate fucking pies, guys. I hate blueberry pie, I hate strawberry pie, I hate most pies. You know the pies I like are like, I like 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 lemon meringue pie. Exactly, the first one I mentioned was the one I'm making. You take half of the whipped cream and we're gonna just fold that in. The whipped cream is giving it a moussey light texture. And you don't wanna like whisk it, you just wanna, you go down in the middle, you take it and you fold it in. You go through the middle, you fold it in. And then you put the other half in and you just continue to fold. That is a cream cheese filling. Just leave this out at room temp. That's good to go. What are these? This looks like acid. This looks like maybe crystal meth. I don't know what crystal meth looks like, but I do know this is gelatin. We're gonna put some gelatin in there because we want to make it stable. So when we cut into the pie, through all the delicious, beautiful layers, the meringue, the lemon curd, the cheesecake filling, the pie dough, you're gonna see all those. It's gonna be like fucking food sediment. So it's very, very important, guys, that we add six full gelatin sheets. If you don't, you're gonna get soupy soup. Thank you. We have to bloom our gelatin sheets. So you just take them and you move them around. They're gonna kind of get like goopy. They're almost getting there. They're, see, see how they're like transforming and they're gonna kind of getting goopy. It almost looks like like if you were to I don't know. It's like gelatin. It looks like you want it to look like goopy. You want it. It's kind of like a goopy thing. I feel. Don't you think? You know, goopy. 
Now, second filling is our lemon curd itself. Good talk. So, we're gonna take six whole eggs. We're gonna crack those in here. Boom. Then we got one cup of sugar. And we're gonna just stir, oh fuck. I need two cups of lemon juice, okay guys? Really working for this pie today. Really working for this pie. When life gives you lemons, what do you make? You make a lemon meringue pie. You get home, some guy fucking pisses on your leg on the fucking subway, don't worry about it. You go home, you make a lemon meringue pie. So that was 12 lemons. And now what I'm gonna do is cook this over the double boiler and we're gonna make this into an anglaise. So a double boiler is just a pot with some water in it that steams and heats up a bowl that you put on top and you cook something on it so you don't overcook it. And what you have to do now is literally stand over here and stir this so you don't get scrambled eggs. The custard is ready for gelatin. So I'm just gonna squeeze the water out of it. And this is what it looks like now. Kind of like, almost like jellyfish or some shit, you know? So I'm just gonna put this into it. So I'm just adding a little bit of uh, lemon juice at a time, just because I don't want to add too much liquid. And that's all you need, that's two cups. And now we're just gonna cook this until this turns into a curd. See how it leaves marks? Like I can pull through it and it's like thick, coats the back of like a spoon pretty much. That's what you're looking for. Because the gelatin that's in there, that's tart. We're gonna add a little bit more sugs on that one. A little more sugies. Ah. We're gonna take the dough out of the fridge. So now we just gotta let that rest for about an hour, come up to room temp. So we've let our dough rest and now it's come up to room temperature and now I'm gonna be able to roll this fucker out. Let's make some pie, guys. So the way to roll out your dough is you tap it from far away until it turns into a pie dough. No. Idiots. So that recipe for dough, that could give you like four pie doughs, okay? So now we're just gonna roll this out. And it doesn't look like pretty right now. Once you bake it, it's gonna come together really nice. So we're gonna put butter on it. So it's gonna get it nice and crispy, but it's also gonna protect it so it can come away. And then just hit it with some flour. And then that is ready to bake in. <laughs> and then you just take it and you let it like, fall into the pie pan and we're just gonna kind of cut around it. You want to save all this dough just in case you get any holes or anything like that. You can just kind of take care of it. When you're par baking your pie doughs, the middle is gonna puff up, right? It's gonna get hot, it's gonna cook, it's gonna try to rise, right? You need to put in a pie weight, okay? So get tin foil and you can use dried lentils, dried beans. I don't have any of those for some reason. So I'm just using peppercorns. Just enough weight so it doesn't go anywhere. So now we got our oven preheated at 450 and we're gonna bake this guy off so she's nice and golden brown. About uh, 15 to 20 minutes. And boom, you got a pie dough. Let this cool over by the window sill. That's what you do. We're gonna put down our cheesecake and we're just gonna push this around to the, all the edges and make that nice even layer on the bottom. So now this is our first layer, so I'm just gonna put this in the fridge for about 10 minutes. That's literally, we're literally almost there. <laughs> we gotta make a meringue here, boys. We're gonna take six egg whites. Oh my God, now I'm gonna wash my hands. If you don't wash your hands, you just rinse them. You're a big, bad, dirty doggy. We're not big, bad, dirty doggies, are we? No, I am actually. That was a trick. I'm a big, bad, dirty dog. We're gonna add just like a teaspoon of white vinegar. Just a little bit. We're gonna whip. So we're gonna get some air in there. So I'm gonna start adding some sugar. And you don't wanna add it at first because you won't get that initial lift. You wanna start making the meringue. So we're gonna add about a cup and a half. Yeah, got kind of close there. Oh, that's a fucking, that's a pumpkin fucking, that is. That's what we're looking for. Our meringue is good to go. We've let the, the cheese settle up here. Now we're gonna just add the lemon. We're just gonna let this go on top. 
And we want a nice layer. And then this this will take about 15, another 15 minutes. We'll let this set. And then we're gonna put the meringue on top. And we're almost there, guys. Bear with me. I like cooking because you can just Roger Ramjet everything. Baking is science. And I'm not a, I'm not a left, right, weight brain. I don't know what side of the brain the science is on. I'm not that part of the brain. I'm an artist. <sighs> Fuck. Now, okay. Different container. I'm okay with that. It's a different container. We can work with that. We got the meringue. You just put the, the meringue on top and you don't want to like smash it around or anything because you don't want to disrupt the curd filling. Bounce it around here. My apartment's really hot. So the peaks aren't really sticking up. We're working on it. We're working here. We're making the peaks. We're peeking out. Make sure you're not peeking on anybody though. You don't want to be a peeker. We get to toast the meringue. This is the funnest part for everyone. Oh, buddy. See this? This is the good stuff. Definitely couldn't, could have got a bigger one. Could have got a bigger one. So you're just working your way around. Fuck. This thing sucks. My hand's got a cramp. You're only as good as your tools. And right now, I guess I'm not that good. Okay. My producer's an asshole for getting me one this small. This torch is better suited for maybe some stoner kid lighting the smokes or the weed or the dabs or whatever the kids smoke these days. I don't know. Look at this. I'm turning into a beautiful toasted meringue landscape. You know, some people love that burnt marshmallow taste. Oh, my hand's literally cramping up. My little baby thumb. Crackheads, they got strong thumbs probably. Watch out. Never play fucking old thumb wrestle with a crackhead. They'll fucking beat ya. Maybe crackheads would be perfect pastry chefs. So here you go. This is my lemon meringue pie with cheesecake filling, lemon curd, toasted meringue. This is the best lemon meringue pie you will ever have, hopefully. Oh, babe. Oh, babe. Oh, babe. Oh, buddy. Oh, baby. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm Maddie Matheson, and this is how to make lemon meringue cheesecake pie. This is good. Hopefully yours is good. Good day. Mm -hmm.